Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Miss Toto. Thank you guys for being here. Um, so as you can see from the title, today's video is about these gorgeous, gorgeous honey, passion twist. <laughs> um, so I did a short video showing you guys how I put this hair in because it's plenty of videos out there and I've done at least like three or four videos on passion twist, spring twist, same concept. Um, I did do something a little bit different with these twists. These do look like my burgundy um, spring twist that I had in um, a few months ago, except these are the passion twist hair. And I received this hair from the same company that I received the spring twist hair from, which is Byleaf. And they sent me six packs of, these, of this hair. Now, if you don't remember, I did an unboxing video of Toyo Tress hair and Byleaf's hair and both of them were passion twists. I was a little skeptical and scared about trying the burgundy because I thought it would have been too red. I guess stepping outside the box with color is like uh, really scary to me but every single time I actually try the color it, it's not as bad as I actually you know thought it would be. Um, so it's very subtle. The tips are really red and then it's it's an ombre. So it's an ombre burgundy color so it gets from dark it goes from dark red to um, an actual red red and I love 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 how these look um, I'm excited how they came out I didn't want them to look too um, passion twist like if that makes sense since since my hair is natural I always love the natural look of any kind of twist braids whatever um, because it that's just how I think that's how my hair is so I don't want even though the hair is like a sh it's the hair is a shiny type of texture so and my hair of course isn't so I would have had to blow dry my hair to match at least the texture um, of the passion twist but I didn't blow dry my hair this time I, I, I didn't have time I was tired I was like I'm gonna just let it air dry and then um, twist it in and that's what I did I wasn't trying to um, blow dry and then do the whole it was just the extra step that I wasn't trying to go through um, I wanted I was looking for a certain look I still wanted the passion twist look but I wanted it to be more fuller because the video is going around you see that it looks more bulky towards the bottom and flat at the top but I wanted the fullness all around so it will look more natural I guess so that's my way of thinking so what I did was I used uh, the passion twist hair that was sent to me and I also used Byleaf's spring twist hair and I combined the two. So I used one strand of the passion twist hair that was sent to me and one strand of their spring, well half a strand of their uh, spring twist hair. Put those two together and I put the hair in that way. So that's why this looked more, um, the twists look more like a spring twist look but the end still gives you that passion twist flavor. So it's a, it's a mixed. I did a hybrid situation. Um, so yeah, I mixed both of those to get this complete look. The spring twist gave me a more fluffier, natural looking look, and the spring twist gave me a more free flowing, curly ends um, type of look. I don't know how to explain it, but like I said, I did do a short tutorial on how I put this hair in, so you'll see me putting both of the two different types of hair together to create this look. And the spring twist hair was in um, the same color that I did on my passion twist video which was a TT350 so it, it's not quite burgundy it's like a bronzy type of reddish orange but you can't tell because like I said I put half a strand and mixed it with one whole strand of the passion twist hair so I wanted to make this video an intro really quick <laughs> um, didn't want to have hold you guys too long but um, I really love this hair. It's still light. I mean, I can definitely tell that it's some weight on my head, um, but it's still light. Like, I can still move it around without feeling like, you know, my head is leaning with it, you know. But I really, really love this look. I'm still rocking to the left, you know, because you got to go left, okay. Um, and I did create a middle part. I guess I can show you guys how that looks. Um, but I still rock it over to the left. I don't know, it looks more sassy to me. So, this is my middle part. <laughs> and I think it's so conform to me, like just putting it all over to the one side that this is a little bit more fluffy going this way. But, yeah. It still gives me, I don't know, what you guys think? Do you like the middle part? 
or do you like the side part? The only thing I don't like about the middle part is whenever I do like this, <laughs> all of my hair fall forward so it makes it completely hard to keep it in a certain position. I mean, unless I pin it down with my, with some bobby pins, it won't stay in the cute position. You know how when you go to sleep and you got a new hairstyle, you need to sleep like this or you sleep like glamorous, like, like, cause you don't want your hair to be messed up. Um, yeah, so I think that's why I have it over <laughs> to the left <laughs> because it just works that way. It just works. Um, so yeah, that is it, you guys. Tell me what you think about this new way that I've done these passion twists. Let me do a close up. So it's still, it's still um, very free flowing, very um, not well put together. Like you, I still have the frizz, I still have the careless bohemian, I think, type of feel to these twists because they're not perfect. I love, so love how these ends are looking. Sorry. I'm loving how these ends are looking. Because since it's the passion twist at the very end, it gives it, I don't know, it gives it a different type of look. And it's like exactly what I was going for before. The length is perfect. Um, usually from the store, you would get the 22 inches of the Free Tris Water Wave or it would be 20 inches in Bohemian. But this is 18 inches. So it's the perfect length. It's not too long, not too short. It's perfect. It's not too dramatic, too extra. It's perfect. My spring twist was a little shorter than this, even though I, I was able to stretch it down all the way to my hip. Uh, my spring twist videos, or video, my spring twist um, were still, you know, it came about here. So they stopped there. These stop at waist length. So yeah. I think that is all. If I miss anything, just leave a comment below. Um, don't forget, because it's not like you guys forget, you'll watch the video, but you won't click the subscribe button. You should definitely click the subscribe button. Um, definitely share, like, comment, do all of that good stuff. So you, And also hit the notification button, so that way you can have um, the most current videos that are coming up that I do, you know. Um, and I believe that is it. So stay tuned for this mini tutorial and you guys enjoy. Have a blessed night. Bye. All right guys, I'm just showing you how I started my hair off. I let it air dry and then I twisted it up so it can be stretched. Um, and I braided it this time instead of doing the rubber band method. So I'm showing you the last two twists that I have left um, and pretty much it's pretty self explanatory um, as you watch it but I take a half of the spring twist hair and also one strand of the passion twist hair and I'm just stretching it. I put them together and then I just use the crochet hook and put that through my well under my braid. And I pull the hair through to make a loop. Now, what I do right here is I twist the hair first. And then I pull one side of the hair with my hair through that loop to create a knot and more security. Once I do that, I just simply just two strand twists. Um, I do not do the rope twist or the Sen Senegalese twist method right here because the spring twist hair um, helps the hair stay so I don't have to worry about doing a rope twist to help the hair stay in place. That's another good thing about using the, the kinky hair with the silky hair because you don't have to do much to make the, the style last. Mm -hmm. So I'm just twisting all the way down until I get to the very end and adding jam as needed. Towards the end, I do the pull-up method just to make the ends a little bit more curly and scrunchy. Um, I'm going to do this again and just let you guys watch to see how I do it. 
Um, like I said, it's pretty simple. Um, just by looking at it, you can see what I'm doing. So I hope I explained it right. If I didn't, then you can just see how I did it. Thank you.